Breast cancer doesn't just take a toll on the person with the disease, but it also impacts everyone around them, especially mm -hmm. caregivers, whether it's a spouse, a child, or a friend. Andrew and I sat down with the Hangover star, Ken Jong and his wife, to discuss how he helped get her through the toughest year of their lives together. Mr. Chow, Leslie Chow. What happened last night? Oh, Am I missing a tooth? Oh. We're getting married in five hours. That's not gonna happen. They say laughter is the best medicine, and it turns out that's exactly what one of the most iconic comedic roles became for Ken Jung and his wife, Tran, when they faced the unthinkable. I got a call from the surgeon. She said that it was breast cancer, so it didn't look good at that time. That was the day Ken and Tran's life changed forever, something my husband Andrew and I know all too well. Facing a cancer diagnosis is devastating for the patient, but the impact on the spouse and caregiver is sometimes forgotten. Trans thoughts, as did mine, went straight to her children, her twin daughters just one year old at the time of her diagnosis. I thought, I have these girls, what am I going to do if I don't survive this? Right away, you have to become very practical and very strong. Does your marriage get stronger? Do you lean on each other? Tell me what happens between the two of you. Ken was so strong for me. When the opportunity, the hangover came up, he really worried about, he said, I don't know if I should do this. That's the guy from the trunk. In fact, the call to take on what would be a watershed career moment came right in the middle of Tran's grueling chemotherapy treatments. Ken, did you know that this was going to be the role of a lifetime? No, not at all. He called me and he said, Tran, what do you think yeah. if I did the scene naked? Are you okay with that? And I said, of course. Of course. Who oh. ah. was that guy? He was so mean. <laughs> you did say this when the movie came out. It would be, uh, it's the feel-good movie of the summer because every every guy will go home feeling good about themselves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chow, you gave us the wrong dog. Not my problem. And what was meant to be the comedic antics of a Korean gangster suddenly also became therapy. The anger of Mr. Chow, which was so funny, yeah. it really came from such a dark place yeah. that you were going through. I would ad-lib actually, I'm Korean, I was speaking Vietnamese in the movie, there's Vietnamese in the movie, and it, it, like I'd say, got chick, and like all these things to get my henchmen to get out. Got chick! That's Vietnamese for chicken die. <laughs> so there's these tiny things. There's these yeah, inside exactly. jokes just between me and Trent. I, I, it would just make me laugh. I would sprinkle yeah. that all throughout yeah. the movie just for me without telling Todd or anybody. Oh, wow. And I would just literally just do little Vietnamese phrases to make Tran laugh. It's like the weirdest love letter <laughs> to your wife in a very filthy That's movie. What, yes. Buddy. Listen, let's go. Okay. I've often oh. thought when I have had time now to reflect, I mean, all the attention is on the cancer patient. And caregivers don't get the same kind of support and love. I look at that in many ways as, as, as you know, just kind of getting me through, you know, the worst period of my life. It says a lot about you, though, that you were so supportive and saying, go do this, because you said you're, you're a team. To kind of let him build himself up to even be stronger yeah. was a, a great thing you did. You guys really are a team. A formidable team, arming themselves with laughter and a little help from a billion dollar movie franchise battling trans breast cancer until she was declared cancer-free, a moment that Ken would later memorialize at the 2010 MTV Movie Awards. I want to take the opportunity to thank my wife, Tran. The reason why I did this, she taught me that life is short, and then don't be afraid to take chances. And I just want to tell you that Tran is cancer-free for two years. One of the best things I heard from the beginning is, Tran, this is going to take a year. My doctor said, be prepared, you will have a year of health, yes. and then it will get better. Mm. Oh, and when wow. talking about his hangover castmates, Ken told me, when I see those guys, there's a deeper bond that just transcends fame or fortune. In fact, on Ken's last day of filming, Bradley Cooper drove him home so that they could both see Tran. And mm. she is now, her, the twins are eight and she is still cancer-free and doing fantastic. so well. That is great. But it's so That's wonderful great. that you're bringing attention to the caregivers and spouses and those that are that stand behind those going through it because you're right. They Couldn't do it without them. No way, no how. Hmm, beautiful. Thank you.